What's going on, guys? Welcome to Weekly Ramble number five. A uh, lot of interesting stuff to talk about, so I'm going to get right into it with some magic stuff. We're going to talk a lot about the difference in scenery behind me and things like that as well. Uh, a lot of this one's going to be dedicated to the channel itself, but a couple things really quick with magic-related stuff. Uh, Core 2019, we're getting a lot of spoilers in for that. I don't know if they're technically, um, like, they were supposed to be spoiled, but we're getting a lot of spoilers. Uh, none of them are all that exciting, but it is a core set. It's not surprising. Uh, hopefully we get a few interesting cards, though, as well. Um, I'm really hoping, you know, they, they said when they were bringing these core sets back that they were going to be tailored for new players and to teach magic and things like that, which is great. I, I really am happy that we're getting these core sets back, uh, but I do hope they throw in a few decent cards. And again, I'm not expecting a lot, um, just some decent cards. That way, players who are really integrated in the game can actually justify buying it, I guess. <laughs> Uh, which I, I think Magic or Wizard, excuse me, is smart enough to know that they need to at least do that. So we will see. Uh, but so far, nothing too exciting, just a few spoilers. So I uh, just wanted to mention that. But we also do have Battle Bond packaging, uh, which is officially out now as well. Um, Battle Bond, if you don't know, is a two headed giant set. We talked a little bit about it last week because we had the Dual Land spoiled, uh, which look really sweet, not only for Battle Bond, but also Commander and Brawl. Uh, just a very, very good set, hopefully. Uh, if you don't know what it is, though, like it's sort of like Conspiracy. That's how I think of it. Uh, as Conspiracy is to draft, as Battle Bond is to two-headed giant. So uh, it looks really, really fun. Um, I don't know what really is going to be in it. I just know that I really like two-headed giant. Uh, so if you don't play two-headed giant, by the way, you definitely should. It's awesome. Um, really, really fun. We play it occasionally with our play group. It's been a little while. But it's a really fun way to play because you actually get to uh, team up with somebody and hopefully build decks that complement each other and can take down the opponents who are also teamed up against you. So uh, a lot of interesting stuff can happen there. A lot of good interactions between not only teammates but opponents and things like that. So a lot of fun. Definitely excited about Battle Bond. Hopefully you guys are too. The artwork looks pretty good for the packaging. I'm a little bit more indifferent towards it. It looks kind of a lot like Unstable. Uh, just more serious. So uh, pretty cool though. I'm excited to see that. Um, moving into channel and life things a little bit. Uh, so as I mentioned, the scenery behind me is different. Uh, the reason it is different is that I am moving. Uh, potentially by the time this video goes up, I might have actually been moved. So we are moving stuff into boxes and getting stuff ready to go. So um, I'm moving in with Tyler, uh, our partner channel, Burst of Knowledge. Tyler is the guy that runs that. Uh, we are actually moving in together, and I'm excited about that because hopefully that gives us more opportunity to work together, build more content together, uh, and actually just hopefully connect each other's channel with the community that, that they've built. So that's really the goal. Um, I think the apartment we're moving into will be able to set up basically however we want. Uh, for YouTube, which is going to be great because it is just the two of us. Uh, so we get to take it over, so to speak. Um, I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to get a, a sort of official setup. Um, the The only problem we're going to run into is Echo because it's hardwood floor in the apartment. So um, I don't know if you guys are interested in doing like, I, it's kind of cliche to do like house tours and stuff. But if you guys are interested in that, I can kind of vlog or do something like that just so you guys can see it. Uh, but it's not the most, I mean, it's just an apartment. It's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's, I mean, it's an exciting step for us and hopefully, uh, us meaning the channel, uh, as well as Tyler's channel. Um, and if you, if you haven't subscribed to Tyler, uh, you should definitely do that. His link is in the description. So definitely check him out. He does finance stuff, uh, in case you don't know. He also is moving into, uh, just like positive reinforcement kind of stuff. Uh, which does he's tying it back into magic in a cool way. So definitely check him out. Uh, also, with his content, he's been a bit behind on it. This isn't knocking him by any means. He's just been extraordinarily busy with work. Uh, but he is getting out of that period and starting to bulk up on a few uh, videos that he can then release out as scheduled. So uh, he's getting into it. It's just taking a little bit of time. So be patient. But uh, he will have some stuff out for you very, very soon. We're hoping to get kind of on a schedule with him uh, that that he can start releasing videos on a regular basis. 
Uh, that way you guys know when to expect it. So that's the plan. Hopefully we can build each other up with that. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, Parks is back. Uh, if you don't know who Parks is, Parks was our resident streamer, as we like to call him. Uh, he did a lot of MTGO streams as well as just gameplay videos. Uh, he featured, I think, the most popular video of his. Ooh, sorry. Uh, the most popular video of his was the Fraying Sanity Mill deck uh, in Standard, actually, which is a sweet deck. I mean, it was a sweet deck. Um, <laughs> it, it was pretty cool. And uh, he really is a good, good Magic player. He's super, super solid. He has a lot uh, to teach people, I think. And so hopefully this is something that we can bring back that you guys are going to be excited about and want to see. Uh, it also gives us a little bit more content in a market or in a area that we're not really focusing on or we at least haven't been in the past. So uh, it's, I think it's going to be a really good thing. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure to let Parks know. Uh, if you do have any gameplay questions, by the way, I would 100% ask Parks. Hang out with him in a stream. Uh, chat with him. He'll be more than happy to give you some tips and tricks. He knows what he's talking about. Um, if you want to know when those streams are, it should be Sundays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, I don't know for sure, but that seems to be his best time, and that should start this Sunday. We've got a few pieces that we need to finish up first, but uh, essentially what we've done is created an It Resolves uh, MTGO account. And so if you see, it, see us on there, it's probably Parks playing it. And um, you can actually hang out and watch that. Uh, but basically, we're setting up that account for him, as well as all of us, that if we want to jump on at any point, Will and I, uh, we can just go do that. So that's really the goal. Um, we've traded literally every individual collection into it, uh, just so we can build that up a little bit. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoy that gameplay again. But um, yeah, moving on. We've got the last big piece of news. I've already spoiled it on Twitter and Instagram, so you may already know. But uh, in case you, you haven't picked up on it, uh, Cardsphere is now an official sponsor of It Resolves. Uh, yay, confetti. Um, if you don't know who Cardsphere is, basically they're an online peer-to-peer -peer, uh, card trading platform. So you can buy and sell cards on there. Uh, essentially, the way it works is you have a want list of cards. You can set a maximum price. Uh, so that way you don't go over. Nobody can sort of out of nowhere make you pay way more than you needed to. Uh, so set that max price, but you can basically make it any price that you want. So if you're not willing to go over a certain price, like $2 for a $3 on buy list card, you can actually set that the way you'd like. So really, really cool system. Very detailed and oriented in some of the, uh, the mechanics of it. So, you know, the condition of the card or foil and non-foil, uh, which set it's from, things like that. I mean, it's all kind of standard, but they really do a good job with it. Um, then you just add some funds in and see what you get. And it's really, really nice. A lot of the, like, I hate comparing it to Puka Trade because that's not fair to Card Sphere. <laughs> um, Card Sphere is so much better. Uh, basically, the, the biggest difference in my mind between the two, on Puka Trade, you were committed once you bought Puka Points you were just committed to having Puka points at that at that stage. And I don't like that. That may, that means you're on the hook from day one, basically. Um, card Sphere, you can actually take your money back out if you're finding that you're not getting the cards you want or something along those lines, you're not happy with it. You can actually take your money back out. Uh, it's direct, you just put in your money. It's not like you get any point system or anything like that. It's just you have X amount of dollars uh, and then people start trading you stuff off of their want list. It's that simple, honestly. It's it's a really, really good system. And by the same token, you can also sell your own cards on there. I have not sold anything on there, but I have uh, received quite a lot of cards from Cardsphere. And honestly, I have no complaints. Um, I, and the only thing I would say is that I had one person who didn't necessarily uh, follow through with one of the trades, but it was not like a big deal at all. I just contacted them, which you can message directly in the system itself, and they handled it immediately. I mean, it was genuinely perfect. Cardsphere didn't even have to get involved. So I really, really like the platform. I definitely would suggest checking it out. Their link is in the description. We are more than excited to be hooked up with Cardsphere, though. Uh, they are a lot bigger than us, but they they really provide a good service, and that's what we're interested in. Um, they are also right now sponsoring a team in the Vintage Super League. 
So if you're interested, if you don't know what that is, you should definitely check it out, by the way. Um, but Randy Bueller, Reed Duke, and uh, Eric Froelich, I believe, are on the Card Sphere team. I don't know how they're doing. I haven't checked in with it just because I've been busy with moving and things like that. But uh, they're three of my favorite players, to be honest. Reed Duke is probably up there in like the top three. Randy Bueller, I like, but not quite as... He's a great player. Uh, and Efro, I don't actually know tons about, but I know he's really good. Uh, so definitely check out the Vintage Super League. Uh, check out Card Sphere. They're awesome. Help them grow. They're about as old as us, and uh, they are killing it. They're doing such a good job. So check them out. We're excited to work with them. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, will will learn to love their program as well, or their platform as well. Um, so with that, uh, it's a bit of a rambly episode, guys. I'm sorry. I've been a little scatterbrained just with the move and everything. But I will keep you guys posted as things go on. Obviously, with these weekly rambles, I want to keep these going. Even though I am moving, hopefully I'll have time to still do it next week. Um, but with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's ramble video. Stay tuned next week, and we will see you then.